Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of death with a new game today. Nuclear Throne. One of those real good, slightly older, but one of my favorite roguelikes with an amazing beat. Honestly, this beat point here is one of the reasons why I absolutely love the game. This song and the whole soundtrack is just so kick-ass. I, after first playing this game, I legitimately played this game quite a bit. Um, no, that's not what I wanted to say. I played the soundtrack as just music for a good while and still do from time to time. Right, we're gonna go normal. We're gonna go with fish. I don't remember what fish's character, what ability it has. Uh, let's go with fish. Gets more ammo and he can roll. Yeah, he has the roll. There you go. Scorching sun. So it's a game where you go through levels, your dilemmas are, levels are randomized, however, uh, you know at which level to expect boss fights and things like that. You also pick up the, uh, is that thing actually indestructible? No, it wasn't. You pick up what looks like nuclear waste to level up. I literally just tried to shoot that piece of ammo. Not ammo, but I tried that flying bullet. I am absolute clever. It's been a while since I played this, I kind of just decided to go with this and try and record something for for daily dose of death we'll level up lovely get more xp and we got pulled in so when you end the level you have a chance to get a mutation which empowers your character prevents death once recharges full hp or i can go with melee range so yes melee is a valid way of building in this game and i like that got a laser pistol you swap weapons with space Oh, fat slugs. Oh my god, slug central. Okay, that's a good old trusty pistol. Get that ammo before it expires. I think red chests are... Oh, got shot. Red chests, I believe, are weapons. It's a disc gun. I don't want that. That's more slugs. Oh, got some health. Good. What was in the... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna pick up... It's machine gun instead of the uh, laser gun. Get these lads. Absolutely plonk them down. Oh no, all that experience. Gone. These scorpions can be quite dangerous. Now the tricky bit is that when the uh, portal to the next level appears, you're actually sucked in if you're too close, like instantaneously. So there's like nothing you can do about it. If you're a bit further, you have a chance of walking away. Rabbit pull more HP and ammo drops, prints death, uh, shells bounce further, some kills regenerate ammo. Let's go strong spirit. 1-3? I don't remember if, if this is the boss level or is it 1-4? It could be 1-4. Let's go. No, that is the boss level right here. Just gonna literally feed bullets into this little gap. Got him. Alright, we need to pick up all this XP and not step into any of the uh, Scorpion's poison. Keep on blasting them. Non stop, pick up the ammo, pick up the ammo. Okay, that guy's dead. These guys dodged all of the all of their shots. It's a disc gun. Why would I want a disc gun? There's a wrench. It's a melee weapon, and I am going for that. There's a grenade launcher. Now I wanna stick with the machine, I gonna. Oh, no, I couldn't walk away. I'm very low on health, though. 2-1 might just be the last level. Oh, yeah, we got rats. They move in a very unpredictable pattern. But I do have the thing where I can get re one revive. I wouldn't want a rat to proc that. Oh, that's just experience. Okay. And I keep forgetting that I actually have quite nicely increased range because of that first mutation. Obviously, this is also sewers, clearly, so line of sight is limited. Oh, that rat almost ran into me. I'm bound to run into mother rats that give birth to other rats, and that's a, basically a little assassin. He can be very quick and very deadly if you're not careful. Oh, man. 
I believe whatever pickups I opened in those chests got sucked into me. Sucked in with me. Better accuracy, less enemy HP. Walk normal all terrain. Full HP and some ammo. I feel like scarier face or extra feet. Let's go extra feet. Slightly faster movement speed. Assault rifle. Oh my days. I do not know how I survived this. And I keep forgetting that I actually have a ro dodge roll. So this thing is a burst rifle, which is fine. Absolutely twat at that guy. Careful with the big guy. And I rolled into my death. Okay, that was a little bit too much happening for my liking on screen. I got to level 3-1. We got through the sewers, and I killed the first boss. I think this is a not a bad run for the first day. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I shall see you tomorrow with more Nuclear Throne. In the meanwhile, this was your daily dose of death. Have a good night. Or a good day. Probably a good day, right? Yeah, that's more appropriate.